Hello again. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a get ready with me, probably chatty video. I'm not really doing anything special today, but I am filming a couple of videos. So I thought I would show you how I did my makeup. So I'm going to be starting out with my new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. I will be filming a um, review for this foundation today, actually. So that should be up probably in the next week or so. I've been really liking this foundation though. It's a little pale, so it might not be a great color for me in the summer, but I'm really liking it right now as a color match. I really like the finish of this foundation. It's so beautiful. If I don't do much makeup, I'll actually usually leave it unpowdered because it actually sets really nicely on my skin and still lasts pretty much all day, just not as matte. I'm gonna powder today, but before I do, I'm just going to conceal under my eyes, also because my cheeks are a little pink today. So I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Light 16, which is this guy right here. As usual, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. The color I'm using right now, if you're wondering, is 11 Creamy Natural. My cheeks probably don't really need setting, but I am going to set under my eyes. I'll just take the excess product down my cheek. It's been a really long time actually since I filmed. I filmed a bunch a few weeks ago because I had a couple of weeks where it just wasn't going to be convenient for me to film and I wanted to have a couple of weeks where I could just not worry too much about uh, making time for filming and could just enjoy stuff with like Valentine's Day and um, the weekend we went down to Bella's Fair. Uh, though I did film that day because I wanted to do a haul for you. So yeah, it's been a, a couple of weeks since I really filmed. So that is my skin done. I'm going to contour now, but I'm not going to use any of my bronzers or contour powders. I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow. I can't recall if I've done this in a video yet, but I have done it a few times. I'm going to use a uh, color from my Gwen Stefani palette. And I've really been liking this color on me as a contour color. And the shade is Anaheim, which is the sort of cool toned crease color. It's a very matte color. Um, it's pretty subtle, but it's just got a bit more of that gray tone that works really well on my pale skin. It might actually be similar to NYX Taupe, but I haven't tried that. I got a lot on my brush. And I'm just gonna put that under my cheekbones and a little bit up onto. I contour a little bit high, and I blame Samantha Revendal for that. But yeah, I'll just blend it out a little. And I'm not gonna use any extra product, but I'm just gonna take that into my hairline and temples. And actually gonna take a little bit under my chin as well. But yeah, just a really cool tone. It means that it doesn't make my face look all orangey. And bronzers seem to work fine on me in the summer. Maybe when there's a little bit more tan, but when I'm super, super pale, I really need a cool tone bronzer or contour. So that's just been working really, really well for me. Kind of unfortunate that that isn't a regular line eyeshadow from Urban Decay because I would totally repurchase it over and over again if I could use it for my contour. Next, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna put on my blush. I'm just gonna use the Too Faced Love Flush in Your Love Is King. Of course, I got a lot on my brush, so. I 
Next I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to use the Essence I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base as always. Now I'm actually not entirely sure what I'm planning to do today. I'm going to play with the Naked palette and see how we go. I know I've pretty much done everything I can do with this palette. So I'm going to do something a little different, I guess. I'm going to mix Half Baked and Hustle. So I'm going to do Half Baked on the inner half and Hustle on the outer half of the eyelid. But first, I'm going to take Buck, which is the darker of the two matte browns. I'm going to run that in the crease. I'm just using my Sigma E40 for that. I need more Sigma brushes. These things are amazing. And I do put this very high in my crease, like I've said before, because I have very hooded eyelids. I'm gonna highlight with uh, Virgin, which is the less shimmery of the two highlight shades. Alright, then on a flat brush, uh, which is the Professional Eyeshadow Brush from e.l.f. In the essential line, I'm going into Half Baked, which is just the perfect gold shade, and that's going to go on the inner half of my eyelid. And then on a smaller brush, just so I can have some more control, I'm going to take Hustle, which is the sort of deepish purpley shimmery shade. I'm going to put that on the outer half. I'm doing that up to the crease but not really into it. I'm not really taking any more product just yet. I'm just going to pat that over the line to help soften it. And then I'm just take the blender brush, no extra product, and just smooth the line. Now it's time for eyebrows. I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Brown Eye Maker Pencil in Midnight Brown. I've also set my camera and mirror and everything up a little bit differently than usual. So do let me know if there's anything that you can't really see right, uh, which you usually could, and I'll try and go back or make this better. Also, if you have any video ideas for me, um, I'd love to hear them. Sometimes I have lots of ideas, sometimes I have like no ideas, so your ideas would be very helpful sometimes. Well, it'd always be very helpful, but sometimes when I have no ideas, be more helpful. And today I think I'm going to line the lower waterline because I um, kind of got a smoky dark thing going on. So I'm going to use my black zero pencil by Urban Decay. And for mascara again, I'm going to use my MAC Cotton Naughty Waterproof Lash Mascara. And then I'm going to switch to the blue cap. If you haven't seen my review on this mascara yet, I will link it down below as well as in a card. And last one's going to put on some brow gel. My L'Oreal brow stylist plumper stuff. And of course my camera cuts out right while I'm in the middle of doing that. Alright, 
and now we're just gonna do lips. I'm gonna start by using a new thing that I just bought, which is the Sephora Universal Lip Liner Waterproof, which is just a clear lip liner that you draw all around the outside of your lips. I'm sure you already know what to do with a clear lip liner. I just didn't want to have to try and like buy a matching color for every one of my lipsticks that seems to need lip liner. So I got this. So I'm still testing it out, but let me know if you want to see a review when I have a better idea of how I like it. I was originally going to buy um, the Urban Decay one, Ozone, but this one was like $12.50 and Ozone was out of stock, so I got this one. And now I'm going to try MAC Rebel with this. This one is a satin lipstick, so while it's really, really gorgeous, it is one of the ones that tries to feather on me, so that's what I'm going to test out with this lip liner today. Alright, I feel like my cupid's bow went on kind of weirdly, but other than that, it's looking alright. So yeah, that is the completed look. It's kind of fall and wintry, but it's still kind of fall and winter out, so whatever. It's kind of fun. Probably could be a pretty good party look or clubbing look. You could sort of put on some gold glitter too and it'd be even more fun. Or you could pair it with a nude or pink lip and it could be more of an everyday sort of thing depending on what you do in your everyday life. I'm just gonna set this down with the Makeup Forever Miss and Fix setting spray. So that is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry I wasn't more chatty. I try to be chatty during these videos and then I always end up concentrating on my makeup. So maybe I'll get better or maybe I'll stop doing them one day. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy watching these types of videos and subscribe to see more videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. And then a bit more of a more recent purchase within the last month or so. I got MAC Viva Glam 1. But yeah, it's just a really beauty, beautiful sort of universally flattering red color. And of course,